it was it was two thirty two thirty nine and you know in the morning because I, I know this because that's when I signed the advice of rights paper. I told him I said I don't need an attorney. You can search my place. The hell, if you want to search their house, I was trying to be cooperative in that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, I don't need an attorney for what? What did I do? You know? So I signed all. You know, I signed that and and uh, Major Manley and they had some cops. I guess they were doing the their good cop, bad cop, or you know what I mean, the nice cop. A mean cop kind of thing, you know what I mean? Major Manley said, so Jeffrey said, uh, and, and this, this is exactly how he delivered it to me, just like this. He said, Jeffrey, he said, Chloe's dead. She died earlier. Son, she's ripped from end to fucking end. You tell us right now. You tell us right now, and that might save you from getting the needle in your arm up there, park, up there on the farm, you know? And I'm like thinking, farm, needle, what? the hell are you talking about? Right. You know what I mean? And he said, uh, son, she's been raped. Raped from end to end. And, and I'm just, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around. And I, 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 I'm still trying to process that she's gone. I didn't know that, right? And uh, first thing I'm like, I, I need to, let me talk to Becky. I mean, because, you know, j and I'm facing, you know, this, this, uh, the prosecution of this. You know what I mean? So that, Oh, that was the old place. How long did they uh, keep you in interrogation? Like, how long did they try to get it out oh, of you, even though you didn't do it? From it was about two. It was right. It was twenty minutes to four, uh, three that morning, and they kept me in there about six or six thirty, about three hours, and just the same thing over and then yeah. there's, there's, and there. Uh, I mean, uh, before I could even respond to or or react to that, she had, when he said that uh, Chloe's dead, she just he said just like Chloe's dead. And um, said it, and she's been ripped from end to end, and I'm just I, my mind. I've been I've been spinning around it ever since. You know what I mean? It, my world's been crazy from that moment. It's almost when he said twenty-one that. years, right? So, uh, yeah, twenty-one years. Sixteen almost. years on death February. row. Yeah, and they're they're threatening me. They're they're saying that uh, yeah, we we got to put you in a secure. Yeah, we're going to put you in a scary part of the jail because everybody in this jail wants to kill you, to, you know, right now, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like... So confused. You know, I, I know I, I can see it for what it is, but they're pushing me and they're po and they're calling me all the horrible names that go with, you know, accusation like that. And um, I literally, I, do, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. They're like, oh, we're going to... We can't, they're going to do a DNA test and, you know, CSI was big back then. It was just big coming out back then, you know, 21 years mm -hmm. ago. And um, I remember thinking, you're damn right you're going to do a DNA mm -hmm. test. You, what do you need right now? I can do it now. Mm -hmm. And he said, oh, you think you're doing And I said, I know my DNA is going to be, uh, going to be, going to be negative. I know, because I know this shit, I know it didn't happen. I know this didn't happen. And they and uh, so you the believe they were going to prove it that they didn't happen, right? You believe right. that? Well, well, yeah. I, I said DNA. The DNA is going to show that. They said, well, you know what? He said it don't matter. DNA uh, comes back negative, inconclusive, or whatever. We're just going to say that you used an object. It was originally scheduled for uh, October, middle October, and then it was moved uh, to the. Uh, then it was moved, set back till the week before Christmas. Who was your Who was your attorney? Was it a court? They, they originally, uh, yeah, they originally appointed uh, Doc, I mean, <laughs> uh, Robert Robert um, uh, uh, Clark okay. from Vidalia. He he practiced he had Louisiana and Mississippi bar, right? Uh, licensed for for capital. Yeah, you're supposed to have two attorneys, and they did. The judge did appoint. Uh, another one, another guy, uh, Gus Sermos, on, on the day of my arraignment on June on June the 28th, my little brother's birthday, actually, my baby brother, June 28th, you know, uh, was my arraignment. And, well, they asked for an independent, but they, a verbal motion in September, you know, pre-trial motion, for, uh, they asked for an independent evaluation of the autopsy. Yeah. In other words, somebody, because they said, I mean, we got affidavits after the fact, post-conviction, mm -hmm. they say that they were completely ignorant of the issues, all the medical issues, and but that's what drives the case. That's what makes it or breaks it or, you it's know, not, or, not, or behind, yeah. is or not, you know? Right. And they, uh, and they were told, they were shot down, you know, 
by the district attorney and uh, the judge uh, sided with, you know, their reasoning that, hey, we're not medical experts either. Well, we don't understand medical aspects of the case or whatnot. We go and talk to Dr. Hayne. We suggest that the defense do the same thing too. So there was that caveat, not a caveat, but there was a, uh, there was kind of a, you know, he denied our motion for an independent evaluation of the autopsy, but he denied it without prejudice. He kind of left open, the, uh, left open, can't, can't go talk to Hayne, go talk to some, you know. Because he was the basically, only expert witness that he, that, that the judge basically said could be in the courtroom, basically, right? You want to say that? Didn't say he say basically, like, uh, Stephen Hayne is expert and, like, enough, like, that's the only expert witness we really, or we need in, in it, or something like that? Like, he didn't Well, I mean, if, if, he, if he were up to, if he, if he were, um, qualified and, or validated for his supposed or alleged credentials, right. you know. Right, he's not uh, even licensed. Right, well, I mean, you know, it, I don't know if it depends on what, you know, uh, what, what you consider license. But he has <laughs> you know, came back. He has came back and he has made an affidavit which is available on the free Jeff. Yeah. We have, okay. So I could read it to you right here right now. Okay. Well uh yeah, see, hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on, Jeffrey. One and second. It, what it come down to the nurses and doctors in the emergency room, they they brought out a CXR portable x-ray to confirm the tube place, but you know, the, the tube when they were, you know, to put the intubation tube down the throat, right? Mm -hmm. And they were checking to see whether it was gone to, whether it was too far. I think they said it was at a, at the five or at six when, or six, seven, when it should be nowhere past like five, right? That means it's gone too far down. Mm -hmm. And it's, instead of pumping air, you know, when you squeeze in the ambu bag, mm -hmm. Instead of it going in, you know, going through uh, into the lungs, it's actually not going. It's it's too far down past the trachea, right? And it's it's going on down into the stomach because they did the portable X-ray confirmed large amounts of air in the bowels and lower bowels, right? Yeah. And they noted that that her muscle, the muscle condition was completely flaccid. Um, you know, all the everything but they were filling her up with air is what they were doing and they it was continually put through and pushed through her because it was uh you know now here's what i don't understand jeffrey yeah okay um i need like what? 15 minutes and i need i'll, uh -huh. I'll call you back or whatever i got something uh -huh. i gotta do okay that's what i need but when when i start back talking to you okay the, uh -huh. there's a quest like the the yeah. the whole one centimeter thing they were why are you charged they wanted basically hold on hold on, hold on, hold on. okay well they were basically know why they even thought about sexual battery hold on well because well, one I'm centimeter contusion that's it well that's now that's what dr hang at first he said it's you know it's one inch right but wasn't but it, it not out, mentioned in the autopsy well it says that he's got it labeled in the diagram one cm contusion and they were calling it an inch they were speaking out of you know they never introduced the autopsy itself either in the evidence. They were just, what? you know, paraphrasing everything out of it instead of, you know, saying, hey, this is it right here, here, look at the copy, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But he said one centimeter contusion. But what it turned out to be when, you know, in hi in, uh, in in hindsight, you know, after after Dr. Hayne, there's been uh, Dr. Lordson from Alabama, Alabama's SME, former SME, uh, Dr. Janice Oppoven have tested it, you know, there's about nine tissue samples and there are, there are, no, there's not even a contusion there. It turned out that it was venous congestion. Wow. You know, basically, basically it's where not river mortis, but liver mortis when the body is in, you know, when the, when the blood starts to pool, mm -hmm. you know, and settle, that's liver mortis. And it, that's why she was all black and blue on her, on her whole backside like that. Like she had been beat and the pictures they said they took at the ER. Uh, I saw them that she did look like uh, black and blue, but that's where the blood had, you know what I mean? It had pulled yep. in the body. It, it's blood red here and it's purple here. And, and also, and, does it like, if you have a TBI or like a head injury, doesn't your like, yeah. sphincter, like, like, doesn't your muscle control? Well, according to Dr. Hain, and, you know, after the fact, he cited a, a study by Jenny et al. 
you know, uh, a prosecution, uh, 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 child abuse proponents, you know, basically they help the prosecutor in there and they're put, and put in by them. They did a study on child on, on basically pediatrics from 1996 is when it come out six years prior to my trial mm-hmm. and it said that it now check this stat out. It's kids ranging, but it's a lot, a lot in the group. But it's about five, six hundred kids, I think, and they're they're different races, they're different uh, sexes, uh, and they died in different ways. But they all had some type of it was abusive trauma, and some of it was accidental. One girl was kicked in the head by a horse, right? Yeah. But a lot of them were 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 at least toddler or younger, right? You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Two years and, and younger. A lot of them were three or four months old. Mm-hmm. But they did the test on this, and that children that had died from TBI, traumatic brain injury, didn't matter if it were intentional abuse or if it were true accidental, you know, uh, brain trauma, right, from a fall or, you know, somebody actually hitting somebody with a bat or something. You know what I mean? The, the difference. Right. And they tested, and se- I believe the number 78 Point eight or seventy nine point eight, basically eighty percent, eight out of ten mm-hmm. showed some anal dilation. It it, it dilates, right? Mm-hmm. And something about the traumatic, the, a traumatic brain injury, especially in children, especially young, it causes that to dilate. After all, that's what that's what controls it anyway. Your your brain, it's an autonomous mu- it muscle. It's not something you flex like your and it's, not, it's actually not just young. It's not actually not just children. Well, yeah, it happens in, it, well, I mean, it, it, you know, and I, you're probably right about it happens in, in all age groups, but I guess we were case-specific towards pediatrics, you know, and, yeah. it, and that was the study that, that they said that she was ripped and torn and the size of a, and the, the size of a quarter. That's what they said, right? Huh. Turns out, there's no rip, there's no rips, there's no tears, there's nothing, there's none of that. It's just dilated, mm-hmm. and they're freaking out. And I mean, and that's what that's why I'm here. All of it was I could just not, jump into conclusions from the. Time. I'm here because of that. That's what I'm here for. That was what they said was sexual battery, yep. underlying felony. Yep. And that's what got me death, yep. death penalty. And now, right that's now, it. well, right now they. Um, He's like, he's not on death row anymore, but um, he's got life without parole.